Libra. What it be, bruh? Happy New Year, baby. It is Mira. It is Shiva. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Sero. I am back at it one more time for the one time. Yes, indeed, for January 2021, when we came in here to have fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Thank you for all of you guys showing me all the love that you did throughout 2020. And listen, uh, we about to be up in here and find out what the energies are surrounding you for January, all right? So if there's anyone that would like to uh, book a personal private reading with me, or if you want to send some love and support to the page, go ahead and click out the description box of this video or click the bio, also known as the About tab, to my YouTube page. And it'll have all the information that you need for booking, pricing. Um, you can connect with me um, for booking at uh, Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com, okay? So we are reloaded, you guys. Um, we got some new decks here. We got the Edgar Allan Poe. Tarot and Cartomancy deck and we about to see what's going on alright so as always we're going to give Father God acknowledgement and we're going to give him praise you know we're going to you know thank him for where we're standing because you know we are blessed for where he got us about to go so listen Father God thank you so much for coming down for the sign of Libra you already know what it be with us Father God we are always blessed and thankful we thrive in our blessings Father God we know how blessed we are no matter what we going through Father God, we know we're going to triumph. We know we're going to figure a way out of it because we are smart and swift as a cookie, Father God. Now, listen, we um, just want to thank you for all of the sweet blessings that you have just set forth in our life, Father God. We know we got some nice, fertile ground that we're standing on and mm, some, you know, heirloom seeds that we done planted. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Father God, we cannot wait for the spring. You know, we just cozying up this winter, you know, enjoying this little hibernation, this little lockdown, this little shutdown, this little lock in. We ain't even tripping, Father God, because we've been blessed. So, Father God, continue to put us on the path of success and, uh, you know, let us know what type of wisdom, what type of information we need to uh, know for January 2021. Father God, we came here to have fun and we just thank you for everything that we are. We thank you for everything that we're doing and we thank you for just being there every step of the way, Father God. We just here to listen to what you got to say. Please give us guidance today. Thank you. Amen and amen and amen. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get it started. Ah, let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Ah. Okay. Give me guidance for January 2021 for my league. Bruh. What it be, bro? Give me three cards. Thank you so much. Alright, I'm gonna stop it right here. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? Lord Jesus, you got the King of Cups in the reverse. What he doing to he? What he doing? What his business is? What he confused about? Why he don't want to show his emotions? Why he just giving all this stress, trouble, and drama, and all of this? What, what is this about? What is this cancer, huh? What is this Pisces doing? What is this Scorpio man? He just like whipping his tail out. I could, what? 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 Child, what is going on with y'all? What is going on with this King of Cups? Oh my goodness. He all out and about. I don't know if he coming or going. I don't know if he love you if he don't. What is this? He got the five of wands in the reverse. I know that's right. You said you going to release me up out of this trouble. You ain't about to keep catching me off guard with the bullshittery. Okay? Alright? You ain't about to have me wrapped up in your bullshit. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Okay, you will not see no weakness coming out of me. All right, you will not bogart me with your shit. I will not compare what I don't compete with. I'm not going to be competing and getting into this confusion with you. I sure won't. So you and your little bitches, you and whoever the hell, okay, y'all can go on somewhere with the shit. Please go on somewhere. Because mm -mm, you already know how them kings are... <laughs> Libra, you already know how them King of Cups to do you. 
A dollop a daisy do you. A dollop, that's that devil dick. A dollop a daisy do you. They'll love you down and treat you real good and give you all that tender love and all that warmth and shit. Some of them niggas know how to cook. They like to rub your booty on the left side, tell you how much they love you in your right ear. Bitch, I already know. Trust me, I done had one. I already know, bitch. I already know what you're going through. Okay? Libra. 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 Okay? Now listen, or you could be a Libra man and you dealing with a female acting like she a dog. Woof, woof. Okay? She got you out there wrapped up in a whole little scenario with her and a whole bunch of little bullshit. She run around out here like a little vixen. All right? All right? She acting like she teen cut. Uh, teen king cut. I can't even. <laughs> I can't even talk. Let me shut up. Let me just shut up. Okay. No, why all it is? Why all of this, Libra? Why you doing this to me? Why y'all doing it to me? Jeez. You got the Eight of Cups. Someone walking away. Don't know what to say. Don't want to play. Do you understand? Not going to see you another day. I'm gone. Okay? I'm gone. Okay? You got the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Oh, Lord. Because someone was about to get the cuss out of their life. This is like double stamping and someone is getting cut out. Period. And that's on period. So they may have left in the middle of the night while you were sleep tight. Why am I about to am I about to rhyme this whole motherfucking goddamn? <laughs> <laughs> it's retarded. My day ain't got started. Listen. Alright. I feel like someone's gonna leave a scathing message before they leave and pour out all of their emotional cups. Because they're just not looking forward to speaking to you or seeing you ever again. It's just, I'm done. I'm just done. You know, I, I, I don't want to be caught up in the confusion. And I'm, I'm going to help my way. I'm going to see my way out of this door. But I'm going to tell you that you ain't shit on my way. Like, I'm, I'm just going to leave you a little message. It's like, I might leave you a text message and then block you. <laughs> A little, little nice nasty test messages and then block you. You see how he having to sit there, you know, sitting there all by himself reading this little nasty message. Like I would smack this bitch if she was right here in front of me, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm gone. You can't even find me. You can't even find the trail, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> you got the oh lord. You got the ace of pentacles and the ace of the wands <laughs> in reverse. Jesus, Lord, have mercy, Libra. Libra, I ain't got nothing to give you and my passion and the, the, the thrill is gone. None of it. I don't want none of it for you. Jesus, Louise Oh, Libra. This person just really had you fucked up on this King of Cups. Hmm? Or Libra males, is this how y'all feeling? You're just very emotionally just exhausted at this point. You don't want to talk. It's like you it's like you may be going out around people but you're not even having fun because your mind and your emotions is somewhere else. It's like you're tired, you know? You're emotionally drained and it's like it's just you ever been in a situation where it was just too much going on and you just felt like someone and it was like it was intentional intentional doing, you know? I'm going to deal with you. I got this one for this one. I got that one for that one. Blah, blah, blah. You know, this is one that I used to talk to last season. This one just came up. I just might as well just add that one into the bunch. I'm about to just, you know, work all of y'all to my advantage, you know. And it's like someone did not want a part of that. You're not going to have me tangled up in your bullshit. And I could feel that energy as if I'm being used or something like that. So it was like someone just like emotionally tapped the fuck out for my Libra men. Someone tap the fuck out because I could feel that bullshit. And guess what? I'm going to see my way out of the door. I'm gone. Emotionally, I've been gone. Because once I realized that you got me into some little competition or you just using me from the little standpoint and view wherever, where, 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 where you are benefiting from it and nobody else. This is someone that, like, they say that they want to come see you and never show up. They sh they do that shit like two or three times. And then when they finally do come over, they just come get some sex from you, some food, spend a little time. And as soon as they bust their nut, they out the door and then you don't know when you're going to see them again. And 
it's like you it's too much it's too much and that could come from a female and a male's perspective most definitely it's like you're undervaluing yourself, continue to put your time and your effort in it. It doesn't matter how much planning you do. It's never going to turn out the way that you want it. It's no worth, it's no per point in investing in it. It's like a bad luck. It's like ever since you picked up this thing, it's like it's been bad luck ever since. You you haven't been able to move forward. Like, nah, fuck that shit. Like, that's, it's like you might have lost your passion. You might have lost your glow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might have even lost your sex drive. Like, the thing is just stressful and it just needed to be released and let go because I just haven't been feeling myself and I need to be rejuvenated. I just kind of need to go on, like, a self-voyage where I could just be by myself and just walk alone and listen to my intuition and just think. <laughs> like, I don't even want no one to be able to trace me and know my tracks and be able to sniff my trail. But I'm going to tell you to go to hell before I leave, though. I'm most definitely going to fuck you. <laughs> I might take this money, too, before I go. Like, fuck you. I'm going to take this little pinnacle and all that shit. I'm going to blow out your candles, bitch. I'm going to turn all the lights out. <laughs> like, the motherfucker, if they had me utilities in their name, they turn off all the utilities, all of that shit. <laughs> Delete all that shit, Pinky. Delete all that shit. Fuck you. Y'all crazy as shit. Y'all always be having me going. Listen, the Eight of Diamonds is someone basically like doing an audit of all of the income that they have received, that they believed is theirs since the start of conception. Alright? I'm paying attention to my goddamn finances now because I know as easy as I got is as easy as can get the fuck out this door and I ain't got no time to lose a goddamn penny. So someone paying attention to their goddamn worth now. Like I'm paying attention. I'm wide awake. I'm, I'm aware now. You know? I don't got no time for no bad luck. The bears doing no bad business. Making my reputation look bad. That's what this is about right here. Paying attention to your finances. That part. You know? Paying attention to your worth. Oh, this was all the way. Because <laughs> I'm not reading all of that. Y'all can read all of that. And I'll go ahead and pull up the Eight of Diamonds so I can tell you, like, exactly what it means. But, child, that's what that shit mean to me, baby. Paying attention to your goddamn money. Paying attention to your money. The Eight of Diamonds, caution, careful planning, balancing the books, financial restrictions, the need to curtail spending, ups and downs of money management, cycling money, tax planning, y'all know tax time is coming to, number counting, a person wearing glasses, watchful eyes, the eyes, all right, so yes, like I told you, paying attention to that goddamn money, to paying attention to your investments, like you're not playing around no more, especially once you had to walk away with that eight of cups, it's like, oh no, mm-mm, I got to focus on me right now. You got the king of, it says, all that we see and seem is but a dream within a dream. This is the king of wands. Why am I, I like this king of wands. Is this something that you going to find on your pathway? Give me one more. I like this king of I like this. Okay, so the king of uh, clubs is a very popular individual. You may know him. I want to say that like, you may know him online or this person may. I don't know. Like if you're in like a gym or some type of fitness community or something like that. Or this may be like um, if your children are in like a sports team or something. It may be like one of the coaches or something in a um this person is real athletics or like, yeah, they say an athlete um, has a lot of skill and ability. Very, very attractive. Very, very attractive. Um, like a go-getter. This person will always have you smiling. This person is a jokester, likes to joke a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, but has a lot of wisdom. Has a lot of wisdom. And I feel like through some level of communication, um, cause this clubs represent clubs, organization groups, like, you know, it's a group setting or something. It's like where you are learning something from this individual, this person, they're saying can read you like a book. And 
I feel like I can tell where you're coming from. The seven of diamonds. I like that. Me like it. Me like it a lot. So the seven of diamonds is like a money win card. Like this is like you winning the lottery. <laughs> like this is like you winning. This is like you winning the lottery. Um, you may be purchasing like a vehicle. Um, I'm seeing travel here. It's like you may may have uh, purchased a vehicle or um, like equipment or something. Why am I getting like some type of technical equipment? It's like some type of te I don't know. I feel like you made some type of investment in something that you're doing, like a wise investment that's going to get you some money on the back end. Because for some reason you were paying attention to your money. Like really paying attention to your finances. Because you paying attention to what goes out and what comes in. Because you want more to come in than what goes out. Like literally it's like you trying to recycle your money. It's like, I don't know, like some type of stocks and bonds. Or like E-Trade. And I don't know why I'm getting there. What's the seven of diamonds? Let's see what's that saying. Financial achievement, reward, recognition, earn success, steady improvements, efforts rewarded, lucky money, like I said, wins, a pay raise, improved prospects, a nest egg, financial investments, stocks, bonds, e-trading. I knew that shit. I'm like, hold on. Why am I getting like someone is like, I want to say like coaching you. Giving you some type of like investment advice about how to, um, something to study about how to spend your coin so like you could get like quarterly increases. You know what I'm saying? Like you get a quarterly paycheck from something that you're doing. Like you just plant this seed, right? Then stop paying attention to all that dumb shit. Like that's what this person is telling you. Like this is somebody that you're going to meet. Very handsome. I'm going to say this person has long dreads, like, all the way down their back. Like, down their back. Very long dreads. I want to say, like, a full face. I want to say, like, it's a, like, a medium tone, kind of brown skin tone. Like, like, yeah, like a medium brown. I don't know if that's making sense, but, like, like a, um... Like a chestnut, like a warm, like, oh no, it's like you want to lick their skin. <laughs> it's like in between, like, like it's like a cocoa with a caramel glaze on it. Like, mm, mm, mm. Oh, why, oh, let me shut up. Why am I doing all of that? <laughs> I just feel it. I mean, oh, 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 oh. Libra, who? Yes. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. That ain't Paco, baby. That's Antron. I don't know. <laughs> that ain't Paco. That's Antron. Ooh. How you doing, Antron? Shit. How you doing, Baba? Hey. Hey. I'm reloaded. What's going on? I love me a little chocolate jar with some long dreads looking all tropical and stuff. Ooh. Then you got what's this? Ooh, Libra, what's the ooh? Ooh, ooh, who's that? Who is that girl? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Libra, would it be? That says love, care, and compassion. Ooh. Okay, Libra, you left. It looked like you made a right choice there, brother. Yes, me Miss Pam. I like green eggs and ham. I like green eggs and ham. I sure do. Put a little sriracha on it, please, for me. Thank you. Mm. Give me, give me two more, please. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, child, you got the red. That means passion, excitement, pow. Some more pop, pop, pop. Mm, pop -o. Ooh, this is passion, anger, courage, and strength. Ooh, mmm. Mm. Mm -mm. 
pink and red did you hear what i said and blue what it do pink red and blue come on now what you doing libra serenity tranquility and peace okay you want to be tranquil okay all right little butterfly come on. now listen i ain't i ain't gonna look look Libra said, I'm on dot. Look, I need all of the colors. Fuck all of the other shit. I'm trying to tell you, it's going to be a colorful goddamn season, baby. I'm letting you know something. When I tell you, I walk away. I walk, honey. I walk, honey. This is a walk. This is a walk. Let me show you a walk. This is a walk, honey. You better go ahead and invest your... Hold on. This is a walk, okay? Now, I don't know. For my Libra men, for my Libra feet, this is a walk. This how the fuck you walk away. Someone got you emotionally confused with someone dogging you, however the shit was for you, okay? Check your money. Make smart connections. Network. Get yourself in the right club, okay? Rub shoulders with the king, okay? The leader, okay? Get all that nice wisdom and shit so you can invest your money the right way, all right? Make you feel like you don't won the lottery, baby. And, ooh, you got a lot of stuff going on. You talking about the key to success. Tell me about it, Libra. Ooh, let's finish this up. Give me some last little words from a Libra. What is this? Mm, ooh, ooh, ooh. And the seven of swords. Libra says, shh, don't tell nobody, bitch. I'm <laughs> I'm getting away like a fat rat. I'm getting away like a fat rat right now. Y'all listen, don't be telling these motherfuckers too much about my moves, baby. Okay. Oh, reload and shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. Ah, hold on. Sell me down. <laughs> Shake up, shake up, shake up, shake up, child. Sell me down, bitch. I'm hitting. Now listen. I'm trying to tell you the way I'm the way I'm about to do this, the way I'm about to do this. You would have thought you'd have been new this. You would have thought I planned this shit a long time ago, but for real, I didn't. I just went with my intuition. Alright. God told me to listen. Stack your cheese. Stash some little shit away. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, drop a dollar. You know how you put your foot on a dollar and slide that bitch on back, put this shit in your pocket. Motherfuckers ain't even see that shit. You ain't see that shit. You know what I'm saying? Leave me with stash of some money. You been doing it. You got you a little quick stash on the side, Libra. You been putting some motherfucking money on some goddamn. Ooh, 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 ooh. Libra, ooh, ooh, ooh. You been putting some money on the motherfucker uh, with them, them little check I mean, them little cards. You been stashing your money on that shit. So you been showing niggas, I ain't got no money, I ain't got no money. You got a whole bunch of them little motherfucking cards. You buy like $5,000 worth of check, cash, and cards. That was you got, Libra. Ooh. Shh, shh, shh. Libra, what you been doing, Libra? You ain't been, you ain't been doing them COVID scams and shit, have you, Libra? Huh? Shh, shh. Okay, I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't about to incriminate. I don't know nothing. Listen, the police don't be trying to come around asking what you talking about in the cars. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I ain't no snitch, okay? I don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> You got the moon in the reverse. Hold on, Libra. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 Libra, what's what's about to come on out about you, boo boo? What you been doing, Libra? Cause uh, Libra. Libra, mm, 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 mm. see Libra, Libra, <laughs> Libra said they about to sneak away, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, like I'm about to keep this shit real smooth and sophisticated, I'm about to dip off like a smooth criminal on the motherfucker, for real, for real, cause didn't I say something about like, <laughs> Libra you so fucked up, yo, didn't I say something about somebody about to uh, shut off all the utilities and like whatever little penny <laughs> the nigga had in the savings and they had access to it, they was going to take that shit and get the fuck, okay? So like, yeah, Libra might just dip off on somebody on God, like for real, because Libra got access to like a new life, a new beginning, like all this shit is blessed right here. Love, care, and compassion. There's said passion, anger. Courage and strength. It's because because of the situation and how someone's footing has been here. You know, Libra wanted to take back their serenity, tranquility, and peace. 
They deserve access to that. They had to unlock their door. They had to do that by walking away. Like, I, it's no point in me investing. Like, I don't even have any emotions. Like, it's like I don't even get wet anymore. Or I don't even get aroused anymore just thinking about this shit. I know you doing all this other shit. I ain't got time for this shit. I really don't. I don't have any emotion for it. You know? I don't have the aptitude to keep going. I'm so sorry. So, like, <laughs> You might have wanted me to keep quiet about what's been going on, and I haven't. I do feel like there has been some type of confrontation about the sneakiness that's been going on and things like that. Because the Seven of Swords can be someone falling victim to an illusion, manipulation, someone's con, someone's trick, someone's, you know what I'm saying? So... Like someone's using their intelligence, you know what I'm saying? Like a get, you know, a spy. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's like a artificial intelligence or something. Ooh, I mean, I don't know artificial intelligence. Do I mean that? It's like, yeah, like a spy cam or not there. You know, some other devices to see and watch something so that they can sneak in and steal the last little bit of crumbs and dip the fuck out, you know what I'm saying, type of thing like that. It's like... <laughs> it's like someone's worst nightmare gonna hit him. Yeah, you think you fucking me, I'ma fuck you, I'ma take that last pinnacle, I'm about to go invest that shit. <laughs> you can't even get it back, it's invested. The fuck? You can't go in there and sell that stock for me, bitch. Get the fuck on. Get <laughs> me you fucked up. What is this? Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Lord Jesus, help me. Give me one more. Clarify this um, Seven of Swords, the Moon in the reverse. And then the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Ooh. There's a caution to slow down. Something is going on here. All right. So, I'm going to put it to you like this. Mm. I'm going to stick it to you. So, do Oh, Chan the Man, thank you so much. Chan the Man, thank you so much for that cash app donation. Mm -mm -mm. I love you. Thank you so much. So, I'm going to put it to you like this, Libra. The person, the person that has to be, be released, that had to be let go, um, I understand you're doing for the situation because I understand your feeling behind it. But if you do some type of pettiness, um, like type of get back or something like that. I do feel like you're going to unnecessarily um it's like defeat yourself in that doing almost. It's like don't be petty because you have access to a lot of good things right here. You know, so it's like don't bring unnecessarily mis misfortune to you because you know the moon in the reverse is something coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you whatever you were sneaking around and doing uh, or it, like if you stole something, you did something. Like I said, if you took some money out the door or something like that, like this person is going to find out about that shit. And wherever you go and all of this beautiful shit that you have access to, like it's going to bring a dark cloud over everything that you're trying to do. So you don't want to bring no darkness and misfortune to you because you did something stupid going out the door when you could have just fucking leave. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, if you can't avoid doing it, because I understand I got a petty bitch motherfucker mode in me too, bitch. That shit be set on ready to twist a nigga up like spaghetti. Y'all already know how the fuck I am. So, shit, I understand. And so, this is one for me too. Even though I'm not in no situation where I would ever need to do this. You know what I'm saying? But, at the same time, like, I have definitely been this motherfucking petty before because it's like, when people be having you emotionally tied up and be trying to fuck with you and shit and you have to gather yourself enough to cut somebody out and to move on and to leave. And it's like you couldn't just do it without having to cuss this motherfucker out and letting them know before you leave out the door. And it's like, yeah, you're right. I'm not going to leave him with nothing because it's like this person 
it's like stole my light, my ambition. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm having to redesign, recreate myself all over because, you know, like this person could have been sneaking around the whole time in your life and bought you a whole bunch of misfortune and just been a complete fucking nightmare. And a lot of shit could have came out about this person. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I get it. I get it. I get it. You know, like, you knew that this thing wasn't going anywhere. And ever since this person came into your life, it's been nothing but stagnation. It's like your heart don't beat the same anymore. Like, it's like you feel like you lost your, your gift, your passion, your spark. Like, you don't write no more. You don't sing no more. The things you used to do. Where you have so many different multitudes of talents, it's like you lost your gift almost. That's how you feel, you know. So, like, I get that. You see how I have to read it that way too, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. I get it. But if you can just leave and not do no petty ass shit before you walk out the door, don't do it. Because you got some good shit right here. Don't fuck it up. Like, especially with this, this, this right here. Because if you do something fucked up, instead of just leaving, leave this motherfucker with that, with that bullshit. You hear me, fellas? Leave this girl, especially my king of fucking clubs. Lead is these women with that foolishness. Let them have, look, let her have all these other little dumbass motherfuckers tied up and wrapped up in her little mischievous bullshit. Let them compete for that bitch and do all that dumbass shit. You feel me? You feel me? Once that bitch had you fucked up, she had herself fucked up. You understand? I don't, I don't, I just leave. <laughs> I just leave. I ain't got to compete for you, sweetness. I got too much shit going for me, baby. Believe it. Because you will receive it. Believe it. Because you will receive it. Baby, I ain't got to do you. Listen, I know where love is. Okay? I know how to get my passions back. I know how to be cool, peace, and mellow. <laughs> I got new opportunities like hello. Boom. Bars, bitch. <laughs> how you do it? All right, so look. Let's, let's, let, let's shake them up. Let's get a couple rooms on them up. Get a couple rooms. Last little advice before we walk out the door. Thank you so much, Father God. Just some parting advice for my leaders. Thank you. Yes, okay. So listen, it's about power of your femininity. You know? Regenerating yourself. Taking your power back. Nurturing yourself. Renewal. This is a promise of a new day. New beginnings, and this is also the sign in the rune is spring. So, trust me, in the spring, things will be popping off. But this right here, this is the rune of a promise of a new beginning, of birth, infertility, fertile grounds. Do you understand? So, this, however, this coming to me in the reverse, like right here, this is a warning. To do not self-sabotage. Because this being in this way like that. It means self-sabotage. And avoidance. You understand? Do not. Shit on your blessings. In upright this means. Psychic. Imagination. Healing. Power. It means the water. Life energy. Growth. Organic growth. Cleansing. You know, releasing and confronting your fears. You understand? Doing this, you sabotage all your blessings. You understand what I'm saying? So like I said, <laughs> it's going to come out. You know, it's going to, y'all already know how my table is. Y'all already know how I do over here, baby. You already know how I do it. Now. This didn't hit the table in the upright, but I do see this, and this is what you don't see. Now, this here means understanding, illumination, knowledge, clarity, inspiration, ability, uh, wisdom, vision, and all that stuff. Baby, you got it. That creative spark, you got it. This is what you don't see that's being regenerated. Don't do the petty shit. Don't self-sabotage. Don't let that bullshit follow you. Do you understand? One simple mistake can bring some unnecessary bullshit with it. Don't do that. 
Don't block your blessings. Stay stepping. I love y'all. Let me get that other body here, Libra. I love you, baby. Huh? Hit that like button. Peace.